Hi guys, I'm Ryan Houston and welcome to my Fly Tying channel. This channel contains hundreds of different videos covering all manner of different patterns, techniques uh, and styles of fly tying. There's something here to suit almost everybody, so hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, let's get on with the show. Hi guys, uh, so we're going to tie the uh, Bam Valley Boom Daddy. So, we're going to use the, uh, the streamer style hook here. And what I'm going to do is we're going to tie the majority of the fly on the front half of it. So, this fly has uh, a foam cylinder. So this is like a tan foam cylinder, which I think is a very close approximation here to... Uh, to daddy long legs color we have a side by gray flash dub and that's going to be our thorax we have some knotted pheasant tail which we're going to use as the legs we have our band body genetic hackles which we're going to use as both wings and hackle itself so uh, let's have a go with this nice sandy color right the foam cylinders that you get on this one the cylinder is going to be both detached or extended body and it's going to be our thorax cover so the idea with that is that this is going to stick out the back and then we're going to tie this in across uh, the front so uh, block ended that's a little bit unnatural so just take a lighter and just very quickly allow it to hit it you leave it close enough it'll go on fire but as you can see that just tapers in the end you stroke a little bit that'll accentuate that and it is given this nice little dark coloration here which i think really suits the uh, the natural sort of daddy look. So, I'm going to take that and tie it in at the back. So, if you want, you can keep this short and try and get two flies out of each cylinder. I think that would be easier if we were just going half and half and using it as a straightforward uh, rear section and not using it as the uh, thorax cover. But, uh, in this instance this is what we're going to do so take a couple of turns around it, a couple of turns in front and a couple of turns around it again and then slide to the front and that should hopefully hold it in position for us but what i'm going to do just for that added bit of security is i'm going to take my clear varnish and i'm just going to do a little touch to the wraps that are underneath it i don't want to get it into the foam if i can help it because foams can be funny with solvents. So, next I am going to put on the legs. So if we take the knotted pheasant tail, this one happens to be like a yellowy color. And I'm going to take three off one side of it. And I'm going to set them over here. And I'm going to tie them on. Now, and you notice I'm tying it in a little bit forward. Don't worry about that. We're going to neaten it all up at the end. Then we'll take three off the other side. And I'm going to match them up roughly for length. Pinch them in place. And tie that in as well. So now what we want to do is just stroke all back. Pull back the cylinder and then get our wraps tight up to the back of the cylinder here. And that as you can see, will throw out the legs for us. So, 
we want to get some wings in as well. So we have our Ban Valley genetic hackles here. So I'm going to take two of the slightly bigger ones and uh, I'm just going to find the tips of those. and break them off. And then I'm going to lay that in on the side in the same sort of way as we tied in the uh, the legs. I'm going to tie in the wings. I'm just going to match them up roughly for length. Hold it on the side there. And when I'm happy enough with them, what I'm going to do is just pinch them in tight and tie back. So as I said, I want to make sure that one is either side of my uh, foam cylinder. So it's dividing them as you can see now, they're sticking out sideways. So all this stuff here then, we trim off. So, uh, next we're going to put in the hackle. So, the one thing I would say to you is, this fly would fish absolutely just as well as it is it would be something that lays in the surface film so you could tie it hackleless if you wanted in which case i would just shift everything further up towards the front and i'd make a much smaller maybe this of a uh, thorax so we now want to pick a hackle so I'm just putting them on here to size them and it depends really on how bushy or otherwise you want this to be. So I'm going to go for a slightly larger one. Trim off the fluff at the bottom of it, and then as you can see here, we're going to end up with just a little bit of the hackle with no no fibers left on it. I'm going to tie that in and tie that tight up to the foam cylinder, and then I want to dub on the body. So the body is this Flash Nymph Grey. I'm going to take some of that. And I'm going to take my wax. Wax my tie-in thread. And then I'm going to apply the dubbing along that and then start to tighten it, catch a couple of fibers, and then that'll allow me to spin this up. So then I'm gonna get a turn tight up into the back of the tie-in of the rubber there, or the foam, sorry. And then I'm gonna wrap forward. Now, I'm stopping a bit shy of the eye here uh, because I wanna get a couple of turns of hackle if I can onto bare shank. And I also want room for this to come across the top and tie in. So we now take our hackle pliers and ordinarily you'd rib this but because it's going to have the thorax cover that will hold the turns of hackle in place so it's not necessary to rib it. So I am just going to travel forward through this thorax that I've made few turns basically it depends how buoyant or bushy you want the fly to be. So I'm going to get to the front here and I'm going to take several wraps of my hackle and then tie across it. Tie it in, trim it off, take my thumb and fear forefinger and just stroke everything back and get a few turns in there just to hold the hackle back and now what I want to do is just 
separate the haggle sort of out at the top, just flatten it down that little bit. That'll allow the foam to come through without disturbing too much or making fibers lie the wrong way. We've already decided which side they're going to go, so I'm just going to hold that down. Take my tie and thread across it. A couple of turns, pull it back, a couple of turns in front, a couple of turns behind again. And then get it in front of it and just finish that. In there. Now I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut that off with a block and uh, the shape of the front of this fly will allow you to fish it flat as a as a dry or just straight or you could strip this and it would sort of act a little bit like a gurgler in a way because of the uh, shape and nature of it which certainly shouldn't sink. Clear varnish. And varnish the head. And that's the fly tide. So that is the Ban Valley Daddy. Now, as I said, we can alter the way that we tie this fly. Uh, so obviously we could use different coloured uh, knotted legs. You could use a red game cape uh, and that would alter the uh, color of the hackles etc the hackle tips you can mix and match um, as I said if we use a different hook we can change the shape of it as well we could tie this fly very much uh, more compact uh, and the wing and leg positions we can also alter so at the here I've chosen to have them coming out at the back but you could just as easily tie all forward uh, tie your fly and then fold them back so they're coming from the front uh, uh, so have a go and see how you get on <laughs>